You're never too old or too late, and you're much more resilient than you think, even in those moments when life gets really, really hard. Those are the two life lessons I've learned the hard way since I became an artistic roller skater. For those of you that don't know me, hi, my name is Lydia, and never in a million years would I have thought I would be skating competitively again. 10 years ago, I used to be a competitive figure skater, and I thought my skating days were long gone. However, skating found its way back to me. After graduating from law school and moving to Los Angeles, I got stuck in a foreign country in the height of the pandemic. I felt so sad and miserable, so I bought myself a pair of artistic inline skates to keep myself busy. This seemingly small decision completely altered my path. From rekindling my love for skating, getting embraced by the skate community, my passion for this sport led me to try to skate competitively again. I began training seriously at the end of 2022, and after a few good local competitions, it was time for my first and biggest competition yet, the USA Roller Sports Southwest Regional Championships. However, right when I felt ready for my competition, my worst nightmare happened. I fell and injured my ankle two days before my first event at regionals. And this vlog is going to tell you the rest of the story. outcomes of starting this vlog, I never thought I would be starting it laying on my couch with a sprained ankle. Instead, I was supposed to be healthy and strong and confident. This is the week that I have trained for for a whole season uh, because this is the USA Regional Championships in Artistic Roller Skating Week. But instead I'm here with a sprained ankle because of a really stupid fall. This whole year I've been training and getting ready to compete at regionals and if I qualify, hopefully nationals um, in artistic inline skating. This is my first competitive year and especially the past few weeks I've been putting in so much work and really putting my body through the most. And um, sports is just a, not only physically demanding, it's very mentally demanding. And yesterday, um, was the first time that I did my routine and I felt really confident. Um, it wasn't perfect but it was as good as it would get and I saw a lot of progression and I actually enjoyed skating it too. And I actually filmed it as well, so insert it here. <laughs>
After doing my program, I wanted to run it one more time to build my endurance. And what happened then was during one of the moves, I had to run on my toe stops and I slipped. I think it's maybe because the floor was slightly moist because of like the heat and the sweat, whatever. And I fell like this, my foot went like this. And it wasn't the worst um, sprain. I could tell immediately that I've had worse. But I just almost started crying and panicking immediately because I realized that even though this is not a really bad sprain, it's bad enough for me to potentially not be able to compete. And this whole year I've been injury free, one and a half days before my competition. I get this. This happened on Tuesday, today it is Wednesday, and tomorrow I have my first competition, my first event, which um, is Classic Ladies Inline Freestyle. Now for this regional competition I'm only skating against myself, and I might even only be skating against myself on nationals as well, we don't know yet. However, in order to qualify I still need to go on the floor and try to skate it and that's obviously not how I envisioned myself doing this um, but the thing is though on Sunday I have my last event which is Open B Creative which is against 16 other girls and only six girls will qualify for nationals and that means that I have a little bit more time to heal my ankle but it's not that much time and for that event I really have to skate all out and there I actually really have to perform and perform well because the competition is strong skating against 16 other girls is a lot for roller skating because it's a very small sport and um, yeah that's uh, I did not expect to um, I guess intro this vlog this way um, yeah and I'm just still very emotional about it but I am grateful for all of you guys on Instagram messaging me kind words. I'm very grateful for my family that I could call my best friend Oki and my friend Alina came over with um, some tape for me. So I just feel, I don't feel as alone as I did the first time that I got a sprained ankle and I barely could walk. But it just really sucks because if you work some like so hard for something for a whole year and then you're so close and you feel so ready and then this happens and you literally have to wait a whole new year potentially um, yeah it just really breaks my heart I also already booked my tickets for nationals because they are in Nebraska um, literally the same morning um, good thing though was that I was able to cancel it because of the 24 hour policy like you can cancel within 24 hours and 24 hours didn't even pass otherwise I would have wasted 600 bucks on a competition I might not even be able to enter so yeah I'm sorry this vlog is such a disappointment but uh, I have to keep it real and uh, we'll see how how I manage throughout these upcoming days if I'm <sighs> I'm going to be able to skate at least on Sunday that's that's my goal that's that's really my goal bad as I thought and I'm really scared of needles ah, just hanging in there hoping that it will help ah, hello loves it is quite a bit later since the moment we talked apologies for my appearance i look like a little messy lion with a sprained ankle <laughs> the good news is that i don't have to skate tomorrow but fortunately my coach and all the other coaches at the rink were so sweet and um 
they informed me that uh, I don't have to come tomorrow, which is also great because it's an hour and a half drive to Riverside early in the morning. It's so much stress. So I'm so happy that I don't have to skate tomorrow, which gives me more time to recover until Sunday. I'm going to stay positive. I just came back from an acupuncture session. Um, which was my first one and I was very nervous but it actually went pretty well it wasn't as painful as I thought I felt a little dizzy but that's also because I didn't eat a lot honestly since yesterday because I just kind of lose my appetite when I'm nervous and stressed so that is why um, I also just ordered myself some of my favorite takeouts Pura Vita, a vegan Italian place um, and my uh, acupuncturist she also gave me some um, like herbal Chinese herbal medicine to drink so I'm going to um, take those pills and she recommended me to take turmeric and glucosamine blah 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 which I already took this morning but I'm gonna take some turmeric and vitamin C as well and I also already took some ibuprofen that's the update and now I'm gonna eat something cuz yeah I need it so my favorite ever pasta is the vegan carbonara pasta from Pura Vita and I get it gluten free and this is just so amazing um, even though I don't have an appetite I cannot wait to eat this that is how good it is so bon appetit <laughs> going to the physical therapist I was finally able to find a physical therapist actually through my insurance um, yeah I I had to make so many different calls I think I called with like 10 different physical therapists and all of them needed a referral from my insurance and my insurance was taking so long to uh, accept or like to finalize the um, the referral anyways boring stuff I'm not going to bother you with but I will say though that the medical system here is incredibly slow if you have like a, an urgent but not life-threatening um, request um, because yeah I normally I guess people go to urgent care but an urgent care will only do an x-ray they don't have a physical therapist and I didn't need an x-ray because I was pretty sure it wasn't broken or fractured and um, and I actually now also got a confirmation because my physical therapist said that I had a minor sprain yay so it's like level one sprain um, which I was so so happy about um, he also recommended me that I would stop icing it and resting it and that it was time for me to really strengthen it and to walk on it like kind of walk through the pain and the stiffness so yeah, I'm, I'm just very relieved as you can tell. I feel like a new woman. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just wanted to also quickly thank all of you guys that supported me on Instagram, my friends, my coaches. Everybody has just been so nice and supportive. Cheers to that. Um, and yeah, just for my outfit today, I'm wearing this oversized shirt from, I think it's Zara, and this Nike, Nike Pro cute little set um but yeah that's just a little update and i'll probably catch you guys later today
first time at the ring since the injury. Wish me luck. Had to modify a lot of ready to go to bed get some rest and wake up super early I have to wake up uh, probably at like 4 45 5 a.m. because I need to get ready I need to go all the way to Grand Terrace Riverside which is like an hour hour and a half drive and then I need the warm-up and then I'm competing at 8 30 a.m. can't believe it's competition day tomorrow and I'm definitely not where I want to be but we're just gonna hope for the best, hope that I get in that top six and I can go to nationals, so... Almost 5 a.m. And today it is the day of my first and final competition day at the Southwestern Regional Championships in Artistic Roller Skating. It's time to get ready. Good morning, my loves. As you can tell, I am getting ready for my competition in a little bit. Feeling, feeling a little nervous. Not super nervous, I'm almost feeling like a little numb because I just don't really know what to expect from my body. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I make it. I mean, I really hope so that I'll be in the top six, but I honestly can't really predict anything because I had to change my program so much yesterday. So, yeah, I really don't know. Alright, makeup done. Now I just need to finish. Uh, my smoothie, my hair, and pack the last stuff. Wish me luck. bothering me, the tape is bothering me, if I don't wear the tape it's bothering me, so I don't really know what to do, I just have to skate through it I guess, um, yeah, so gonna stay positive and yeah.
So guys, I got second place. Now I have to skate the finale and then the top six out of eight go to nationals. So ah, not fully there yet, but I am very happy that considering everything that happened, I was still able to make second place. <laughs> so happy that I am qualified for nationals now oh can't believe I'm going to USA World of Sports Nationals like oh such an achievement and I never thought I would be doing this ever <laughs> from the future coming to you with her third place medal oh my gosh I am honestly so so happy that I ended up getting third place and placing for nationals I feel like in the past few vlogs I've all ended them with me coming talking to you guys in like real time and that is because I was a little behind with my vlogs but not anymore because the next vlog that you guys are going to see is going to be my nationals vlog I'm actually leaving to Lincoln, Nebraska where USA National Championships in Artistic Roller Skating is being held tonight more about that in the next vlog but wait don't tune out yet because i actually have a very exciting announcement to make and that is that um, nationals is going to be live broadcasted there's going to be a live stream so all of you guys are able to watch me compete in real time which is super super exciting you can follow along with my events now i'm skating three times maybe even four if I make it to the finale and I will have the little schedule right here as well as the link to the live stream in the description box down below by the way it's fully free um, you can also watch other people's events nationals has been going on already for like two weeks um, so definitely check it out um, anybody from anywhere in the world can watch it you just have to make sure that he gets the time zone correct because it's in um, Nebraska so Omaha time which is I think central daylight time so just make sure you do your calculations correctly so yeah really hope you guys can tune in and if not no worries because you can obviously rewatch it in my next vlog which is going to be nationals and the last announcement or thing that I want to say is um, if you guys finished watching this video till the end leave me a comment below with the word let's do skate let's do the word skate we have to use the word skate because i would love to see who watched till the end and is hopefully also going to watch um my my events my uh, my competition so with that being said i love you all this girl's going to bed now and i'll talk to you very very soon bye guys